I don't want to vote for Trump, but at the same time, like, this is something we need. And if she doesn't stand in solidarity with the people, I mean, what kind of president is that? Pro-Palestinian protesters outside the Democratic National Convention here in Chicago say they want Kamala Harris to change the party's stance on the war in Gaza. They're demanding an immediate ceasefire and an arms embargo. Folks in Palestine are not safe because of the weapons from the United States that are being sent there. They can say that they condemn the genocide all they want, but they are the ones funding it. So we need them to stop doing that. Inside the DNC, there's a group of uncommitted delegates demanding the same thing. The uncommitted vote in Kentucky in my congressional district has made their voice heard that the reason why they voted uncommitted is because they want a ceasefire and they want to see an arms embargo. And so I'm here to represent those voices. It seems like Kamala Harris has been more open than Joe Biden. The thing is we need actions, not just words. We want Kamala Harris to win. And we're trying to talk to fellow delegates and tell them that her path to victory is really narrowed if she's supporting the genocide in Gaza. But some of the protesters here are not as hopeful about a Harris presidency. Biden out, Kamala Harris in, you don't think that there, were, there will be any difference in policy? As far as foreign policy goes, I highly doubt it. Kamala Harris, she's cooperating with the Biden administration, so I don't think her presidency, if she were to win, would be any different at all. As protesters presented their demands, the parents of one of the hostages held in Gaza took the stage at the DNC. Needing our only son and all of the cherished hostages home is not a political issue. It is a humanitarian issue. We know the one thing that can most immediately release pressure and bring calm to the entire region. A deal that brings this diverse group of 109 hostages home and ends the suffering of the innocent civilians in Gaza. Other protesters told me they won't be withholding their vote from Harris, but they feel torn. I think it's really important to keep Trump out of the White House, and that's a really huge issue. It's a big dilemma.